Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Record. Okay, this is Brother Phoenix L. We're at the uh, nationalizing event. We're doing some witnessing and signing of uh, documents so that Sister Ashley Maymoon May Moon Bay, right? Yeah. Did I say that right? Yeah. All right, now she's camera shy, so we're not going to put her on camera. All right, but she's a beautiful young uh, uh, melanated sister that is here and declaring her nationality. Now she has a small issue. She's got court coming up when? <laughs> In a couple weeks, she said, okay? And I also have Brother Mazi the Moabite here. Now, this brother's seasoned. He knows his stuff, so I'm going to show him, but I'm not going to show the sister. Yeah. All right. Okay, so you're going to teach her these nonsensical uh, gibberish Latin words that really don't go well together in order to prevent her from going to court or helping her out in court. Uh, dude, you're just setting her up for failure at this point because, well, it generally doesn't work in a court of law. In fact, you're liable to piss off the judge, and he's the one you don't want to piss off. Islam, he says hi to, to our uh, fellow heirs. Now, here's what we're going to do. She's got court coming up because she has um, been cit cited with given a citation and a summons to show up in court for driving without a license, um, driving on a suspended license, which means you didn't have one, blah, blah, blah. And she had a court date when? Uh, my court date was, when my original court date was? February? January? December. She had a court date back in December that she missed. 16th? December 16th, she missed. So they got a warrant out for her. And you really think all this Moorish sovereign citizen BS is going to help her out with the warrant disappearing and her not going to court and everything like that? Well, I hate to say this, but you are entirely delusional. Actually, I don't hate saying it. In fact, I uh, absolutely love saying it. You are quite delusional. Now, what are we going to do immediately to help this sister? So I'm going to go through via this video a quick outline of some things that we're going to help her to kind of get in order so that this court case can be eliminated before it ever starts and they can remove the warrant. Um, Brother Mazi, the Moabite, I'm going to ask you to pull up on Facebook the new uh, verbiage that Sharon and, and Sister Light Chajiri just put out with the uh, I am so and so so and so and so and so. Please pull that up and have that ready. And we're going to read that on the record. And we're going to let the sister speak that. She ain't going to be on video, but she's going to speak it out loud. Okay. Well, it looks like we definitely have a snake oil salesman on our hands because somehow I really doubt that you believe your own BS. I think you just sold this incantation to this lady who was quite gullible and, uh, well, a fool and their money are soon parted, and she will definitely look like a fool in court when she is taken in due to her warrant. So you will probably be laughing all the way to the bank saying that, oh, she must have said the incantation wrong or something like that to justify why she got arrested. You know, Klatu Varata Niktu, you know from Army of Darkness? I mean, do you remember that? Klatu Varata <laughs> and that's going to be part of her training as far as what she's going to put in writing and what she's going to demonstrate okay so we're, while he's waiting on that you just just pay attention these are these are some of the outlines number one she's going to declare her nationality we're going to get that done today all right number two time. um we're going to send this stuff out to the seven locations all right uh number three 
Um, we're going to get her trusted up. We're going to execute her lean on the straw man. Uh-huh. Okay. Now I happen to have mine with me today. Oh, so cool. I'm going to go over that with her. All right. And so she can see what all is involved and she's going to have to move at lightning speed because the dates are coming up. But with the, what do you call it? With the statement that she's going to learn and memorize. Okay. Is that it? Let's see. Thank you very much. Perfect. So this is, this is the statement she's going to read. She's going to say, I am Ashley Maymoon Bay, a Moorish American national in propia persona, sui juris, propio solo and propio heredis. Whoopsie. There you go with the failed incantation already. I mean, you said sui juris, not sir juris. So yeah, uh, it's going to be your fault that uh, she gets arrested and sent off to uh, jail for a while. So congratulations for uh, your, well, misspeaking this. This is truly the uh, army of darkness all over again. Hey. Wait a minute. Everything's cool. I said the word. Now I'm going to make sure she understands what all this means. So we're going to break down these words and so forth. <laughs> Descendant of the great prophets, blah, blah, blah. So start with this, say I am, and then put your appellation in there and continue reading. Okay. Say it nice and loud so everybody can hear you. So this is the theme, like as far as these words, mm-hmm. I'm having a little bit of That's okay if you have trouble pronouncing them. It's okay. Just I'm say them. Propia. Propia. Person. Sana, persona, sui, sui, juris, juris propio, propio, solo, solo and, and propio, propio heredis. Okay? All right. I am a descendant of the great pharaoh of Kemet and the Moabites, Moabites and Canaanites. You are commanded. So that's this is something you're stating mm-hmm. to someone else. You're giving them the command. When you're in court, you are commanded to state your name and nationality for the record without further comment. That's powerful, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm really sure that uh, walking into a courtroom and demanding things from the judge, such as demanding to hear their nationality and saying all this other stuff, is going to really ingratiate yourself to that judge. In fact, I'm sure that after he hears all that, you'll be held in contempt and put in jail for a few days. So, good luck with that. Not have jurisdiction over me, and you are commanded to set me free. Leave my property. Your property is also your name, your estate. It's not just your physical body. Yeah, that's what's all of that. Never return and cease and desist all actions and contact. This is your due process. You're talking to the judge. Okay. And my notice of intent to lean if you to lean you if you do not do as commanded and take your leave. Okay? It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. I am. And again, you put your appellation right there and you're gonna you're gonna memorize this so that when you're in front of that judge, you're gonna speak this into existence. All right. So go ahead and read that right now. We're going to give you a, a trial run right now. Go ahead. I actually may Bay, a Moorish na- American national in Impropia, Impropia pers- persona, persona, sui, sui, juris, juris. Pro, proprio again. Pro, proprio, solo, and in propria heredis. Yes, very good. I am a descendant of the great pharaohs of Kemi and the mobilities of Moabites. Moabites. Yeah, you're brainless buffoon. Uh, you might as well just go ahead and reserve your accommodations in the local gray bar motel because that's where this is going to get you. It's not going to get your case thrown out or anything like that. So how much are you paying this guru to teach you the stuff? Because it's pretty worthless. And Canadians? Canaanites. Canaanites. You are commanded to state your name and nationality for the record without further comment. You do not have jurisdiction over me. You are commanded to set me free. Leave my property and never return and seize and to see all actions and content. This is your due process of my 
of my notice of intent to leave if you do not do as commanded and take your leave okay and then I am actually right ma'am all right very good so she got it she spoke it into existence that was her first trial run hand this back to the brother please all right so that was her first trial run all right so hopefully you all heard her say that so the second thing we're going to do we're going to grab those those contracts and the offer to come to court and we're going to reject them in person or in writing okay are you with me yes all right so i'm going to need you to get all of your invitations okay that was an invitation to come to court did you know that was an invitation yes you did mm -hmm. so why did you accept it <laughs> If somebody gives you an invitation to a birthday party and you don't like them, do you have to go? No. Do you have to accept it? No. Okay. Did you want to go to court? No. Then why did you accept it? Because I thought that was, I was programmed to think that. that was, Say it again. I was programmed to think that was the way of the law. Wow. She, she admitted and she knows that this is programming. Uh, no, that's not an invitation. I hate to say it. But it is a demand to come to court to resolve that issue. Uh, if you don't go, there are consequences to those actions of not going. And guess what? It can lead to fines, other penalties, and jail or prison time if you do not show up. And listening to this uh, moron is a sure way for you to end up in jail. I mean, how many sovereign citizens have ended up in jail because of bad advice like this? I don't know. I've lost count. Y'all get that? She knows that now because her awareness is coming up. Okay. So oh, it was an invitation that up. you did not have to accept. <laughs> the problem is you did not know how to properly reject the invitation. Am I correct? Yeah. All right. So we're going to teach her how to properly reject the invitation to come to court in two weeks. All right. So how do we do that? Well, that information is on the uh, website as well on the Facebook group page. There is a um, offer to contract rejected type of uh, terminology verbiage that you can put on the contract and send back to, to the court. And as long as you do this before the court day, it precedes them and precedes you and that court day then they have no right to continue to enforce that contract on you. Wrong, 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 wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. You're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong. Okay. So we're gonna take the original contract uh, from December, the invitation, we're gonna reject that one. We're gonna reject the new one for the next court day. Okay. All right, and all of the other citations that they gave you. So the question is, who do we send that to? We're going to send it to the clerk of courts. We're going to send it to the sheriff. We're going to send it to the uh, county attorney, the so-called prosecutor, prosecutor, which is the DA. We're also going to send it to the state attorney general's office. Okay, so we're going to send basically three or four copies out. They're all going to be notified that you have rejected the offer to go to court which is an offer to contract mm -hmm. and you're not being forced to contract. In addition, you're going to serve them a copy of your declaration mm -hmm. so they know who you are now. All right. Mm -hmm. And that you're not going to be forced into a contract unilaterally, for their benefit, because the whole reason that they are doing the contract mm -hmm. is so they can take money from your estate. Right. Okay. So, uh, that's the overall outline. There's a few more steps um, that uh, I'm going to go over with her and, and maybe I'll do a, a follow up video to share the whole process of what we actually did after we Please finished go. doing everything uh, and share that with the um, fellow heirs out here, our, our fellow brothers and sisters. Okay. So that's it for now. And do you feel a little bit better already? Yes. Say it again. Yes. yes. Nice and loud. Okay. So she's got some things that was concerning her, but it motivated her to go ahead and move forward and get her nationality done. So if this is the only way that some of our young ones are going to step up to the plate and decide to declare their nationality, so be it. But we need to be ready, willing, and able 
to assist them, okay, um, to be able to stand up properly and to demonstrate that they can become competent heirs, that they are not wards of the state, okay? So we've got a lot of work to do to help the young sister, but we're going to do that, okay? So peace and love to everyone out there on Facebook. Uh, I'm going to post this up on um, my YouTube channel. Moorish Americans. All right, peace and love, everyone. Today is Saturday, March 9th, and we are at the nationalizing event. We got a few more people that are coming out uh, in about a half an hour, 45 minutes. So this was a perfect opportunity for some teaching. I'm going to go over with her uh, some of the presumptions. And there's this document, Roman Court Procedures, 12 Key Presumptions, is actually posted in the, and it's, it, and this is an excellent, excellent document to get your foundation information together. Um, as far as the presumptions of court, just so happens that I just printed this out. I guess Spirit was telling me I was going to need this today because I had no idea that this sister was going to be going through these things. So it just shows uh, we are being motivated. We're being led by Spirit, and that's a good thing. So I'm going to go over these with her and uh, offline and not on the, um, um, just to get her competence and her understanding um, elevated um, for her benefit. Okay. All right, everyone. Peace and love. We'll talk to you soon. Peace out. Wow, Roman court proceedings, uh, yeah. We don't use Roman court proceedings, dude. I mean, that is so freaking far out of date. We are not the Roman Empire here. We are an entirely different uh, country than what they were. So, dude, uh, quit while you're ahead because, well, you are so far behind anyway if you're using that and, you know, I don't even think this would have worked in a uh, Roman court, you moron. But, hey, if you want to go ahead and give uh, her some bad advice that will lead to her eventual incarceration, well, that's her problem at, right there. And, uh, well, you'll have another dissatisfied customer, to say the least, with your scams and everything like that. So, at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.